What is up everyone? This is Kiran here. Welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. If you're looking for a Gcam which has a lot means a lot of features for you which might be helpful for you to click very better quality of pictures then I'm gonna share with you a very cool and interesting Gcam mode which includes many features and you already got to know that which Gcam I'm talking about. I'm talking about TR camera. I already have previous videos on this TR camera but those are some old versions. Now we have the latest version which includes better quality some extra features and a lot more things stay tuned and let's find out which other things you get in this latest TR camera here's the gcam mode i'm talking about right now is the tr camera 7.42.201332247987 and you can see here you currently have the stable version of tr camera xmas release it's released on december 25 and i was not able to install this but now we have installed it and you can say the app is based on the nikita modification and gcam if you don't know i have a video on and nikita gcam also which is nikita the gcam 7.4 if you haven't checked it out you can check it out that one just search for it and you will find there easily this one is tr camera 7.4 which includes a lot means a lot of features which are those features let's first of all open the home screen where you see all those things and you can see all these lenses are available this one is a normal lens we already know that 2x and we have that ultra wide angle option available here too and as you can see ultra wide seems to be working fine here this is really nice here but also just don't focus on my camera quality because i have many dust available here my cameras are not working fine but i have no issues i don't use them most of the cases we have the portrait mode expectedly tr camera night sight and all the main features are perfectly working fine here didn't got any kind of major issues after using from some time so you can also use this i'm using it on my redmi note 8 running android version 10 you can use it on your any device maybe it will work on android version 11 also but not sure but you can give it a try if you want to here you'll see the very cool kind of option which is called auto or pro the pro means you can adjust all these things auto infinity 2m selfie macro or whatever else and this one is also which you can adjust up to you it's up to you whatever you want to do but if you have any idea what you're doing then you can do this of course it's written here pro if you know what you're doing then go for it and if you don't know this simply choose this auto and it will automatically adjust whatever else you will do with your device so this seems to be really nice the feature which you don't get in the normal G cam this is available here and I personally like this thing a lot moving on to other things we have Google AWB image quality is a very cool kind of option which I like liked here image quality you can adjust to 7 frames 15 frames or up to 25 frames it's all up to you so if you want to choose them you can simply choose them HDR option also Expectedly available here ratio etc are working fine here moving on to the settings which you get here for example default settings color settings etc lip patch device model all the things which you get in the normal gcam are present here but including that we have other extra features available too for example if you want to choose the default settings these are the same settings which you get here here we have these two options available includes the tactile vibration feedback when changing modes whenever you change the tr camera modes let me tell you which i am talking about for example we have this tr camera if we change this to now video mode it will give us a little bit of vibration feedback when you install this you will feel that so that would be easier for you that if something is done if something is clicked in your camera so that might be helpful for you default settings includes all those things as included the sunlight fix also we have the hexagon dsp disable option and social share etc the features which you get in the normal gcam also now we have the color related settings and these are for all those users if you are interested in customizing your device colors not actually device colors but of course your picture qualities device model hdr plus control camera sounds etc same features as the gcam now we have the control of viewfinder buttons focus options these are some interesting features which you can go and try it out on your device we have these sabre option we have the design gum this is one of my favorite features do not create the separate folders by saving portrait photos to a shared folder if you know whenever you click photos with the gcam's portrait mode the photo is available in another extra folder it creates a separate folder for that but this option will not allow them and it will automatically choose that it will automatically click the photo and then just go to the same folder 
where you have DCIM camera, all the photos are available. We have the maximum zoom value, auxiliary camera, experimental, and all the same things. If you go for the stream config, here we have other extra kind of options available. Some are great, some are useless also. Of course, not everyone use all those features, but it's still, these are some great kind of features. We also have the config options available, and the best part is, if you have any of your other config, if you have config, if you don't want to enable if you don't want to enable any kind of xml here if you don't want to import any kind of xml here you can simply export that you can simply upload your own config by doing some modification so that's that is quite amazing and you can do that very easily we have other features like other things if you want to enable if you want to import any kind of xml that might be helpful for you and this is what i was talking about the tr camera 7.4 version this is a very helpful and great kind of gcam for you tr camera xmas release what i'm talking about as always the link for this tr camera is in the description make sure to make sure to download that and install it on your device and use it for some time this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me thanks for watching and goodbye